Hey guys, this is Average Jobist. Hope you are doing good. We are going to take a look into history of Logic Care. Let's get started. In order to make it short, crisp and simple, I have decided to share you 5 do's and don'ts based on my personal experience to take care these hill stream loaches. You can compare this with your aquarium's parameters. And most importantly, if you are even a beginner, you too might get an idea of how to care them. And don't be worried, they are not as hard as you think. They are actually super easy to take care if you can give them the right environment they demand. And what are we waiting for? Let's first see the 5 things you should do. Cape stands in this list at number 5 because they are the least necessity these loaches demand. Because they can simply hang on on the walls of your aquarium glass and they don't really need them. Although this caping is not really necessary, but adding them to your aquarium will make them feel like they are in a natural habitat and, and they could be a great resting spot or a chat room for them, who knows. So I personally feel it's better suggesting you to replicate their natural environment where they come from with your aquascaping ideas. TDS is nothing but the total number of organic and inorganic compounds suspended or dissolved in your aquarium water. I keep my loach in a TDS ranging around 260 ppm. And yes, I know you won't believe that if they are really thriving in such higher levels. Let me show you the proof. It doesn't mean that you can use any water for your planted aquarium that has hillstream loaches in it. It's always recommended and appreciable if you can use RO water that has tedious levels not more than 50 ppm. And here is a proof that you can still increase your tedious levels if you are really in need of increasing it where your lotus will still stay healthy if it is a slow and gradual change and any sudden or frequent changes will eventually kill them. At number 3, there stands the water current. It not just deals with the water flow but also it deals with the surface agitation which enables good aeration in your aquarium where these lotus are highly oxygen demanding and this helps to deal with it. To provide enough food for these scavengers, we can't encourage excess algae growth in our aquarium. So we should have some additional food for them to be fed by us. Such food includes frozen or freeze dried bloodworms. But I personally feel that algae wafers are way more better and safer. Only feed them small amount twice in a month. Finally, we have arrived to the most important and the prime factor of hillstream loach keeping. It not just applies to these loaches, but it applies to the all livestock in your aquarium. The main part of doing water change is that you shouldn't do the entire water change. You must keep changing your water every week for about 20 to 30 percent. And additionally, install a skimmer so that you can collect all the oil film on the surface. If you can follow this, you don't need any test kits in order to test ammonia, nitrites, pH, or KH. This will keep you stay away from spending time and money for test kits. And that's all the five things you need to do to fulfill the requirements. Before we jump into the next 5 factors, I would like to give a glance on these loaches which will help you to better understand the reason behind those 5 factors. So let's take a short look at their basic information. Hillstream loaches belong to loach family and they are mainly categorized by their patterns on their body. And those patterns are named such as spotted, striped, reticulated and even butterfly. They tend to show more peaceful behavior with other fishes and they are absolutely safe to be with any kind of fish. 
Their lifespan is about 8 years and it might vary depending on the condition they live. They grow to a maximum of 3 inches which is up to 7 centimeters. The male and female are identified by the shape of the head when being viewed from the bottom of their body. Hope you guys got a better idea about them now. Let's jump into the 5 things you need to avoid. You could be a great fan of this species and you want them in big numbers but remember you should never try to overcrowd them because they might lack in territorial space and they express more territorial behavior towards their own species and there's a chance that the weak ones may starve to death. Any decorative item you use in your aquarium, either it's artificial or natural, make sure they don't have any sharp edges. Having such decorative item may cause severe damage or open wounds to your fish that may or may not be visible to your eyes. As they spend most of their lifetime grabbing and surfing over any surface, there might be a chance they could repeatedly hurt themselves. This will definitely cause them stress and fall ill. It's better to avoid buying such objects rather than trying yourself to smoothen up them. There's really no wonder this tankmate selection comes number third in the list. Hillstream loaches are not precocious, and you should never try to introduce them with monster fish. These loaches don't grow to the size of a pleco, and they might be a best fit into the mouth of any aggressive or monster predatory fish. Water temperature comes at number 2 because of their inevitable requirement. Loaches do well in an aquarium that has water on the cooler side. Their temperature requirement ranges between 18 to 25 degrees Celsius which is 65 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit and you need to install either a chiller or a cooling fan in order to achieve it. If you can't afford a chiller, at least install a cooling fan which is more cheaper compared to a chiller and you can reduce your aquarium water's temperature ranging from 2 to 4 degrees celsius and that is enough for you to keep up the temperature in the margin and also cooling fan has an advantage of easy installation and its maintenance the reason and fact behind this water temperature maintenance is that the more cooler the water the more oxygen it holds Nano or small tanks stands first in this list as they are the prime factors that affects the lifetime of your loach. If you are a hillstream loach lover, then you should definitely go for large tanks. We have discussed 4 factors to be avoided to keep these loaches and even if you have successfully avoided all those factors, you might still end up losing your loaches if you put them in a smaller tank. It's because the more smaller your tank is, and the more faster your water parameter fluctuates. Beneficial bacteria need to work as twice as fast as they can when compared to larger tanks. And it's due to the ammonia spike and the nitrate and nitrate levels are always higher in nano tanks. Nitrates are allowed to be between 20 ppm in which later it's consumed by plants to convert it into oxygen. Additionally, disease will spread more faster in nano tanks from one fish to another and also to avoid lack of territorial area if you have two or more loaches, then it's good to avoid nano tanks and larger tanks are always advisable. And that's all you need to remember. Hope this information helps you take good care of them. See you in the next video. Until then, happy fish keeping. Bye bye.